Macaroni Visits the Zoo, a five-minute bedtime story by Sammy Jamison. His nickname was Macaroni. When he was little, he loved the song Yankee Doodle Dandy, especially the line, stuck a feather in his hat and called it Macaroni. His family thought it was cute when he would tell people, call me Macaroni. Most of his classmates called him Mac. His mother took him to the zoo often, and he had the layout of the zoo memorized. Today was his first time to go to the zoo with his first grade class. Mac's teacher knew that he was impulsive, so she assigned him a buddy to stay with him. His buddy introduced herself. Hello, my name is Abby. What is your name? Mac told her, Macaroni, but the other kids call me Mac. Abby used an electric wheelchair to get around. Can I ride on the back of your go-kart? asked Mac. Absolutely, Abby answered. And you're the first person to call my wheelchair a go-kart. I like that. Mac's teacher told Abby, Let Mac decide what displays he wants to visit today. Mac knows his way around this zoo. He will be bored if he must stay with the class. I want to go to the giraffe habitat. It's feeding time, Mac was excited. Can we have one rule, asked Abby. What rule? Mac wanted to know. Abby explained, you may decide where we go today, but if I call out Macaroni, you will immediately stop and look at me. Will you do that? Yes, Mac said. That will be easy. Well, hello, Macaroni, said the zookeeper. Hi, Miss Brooke. This is my new friend, Abby. Would you two like to go with me out on the giraffe feeding bridge? And watch me feed them, Brooke offered. Yes, both Mac and Abby said together. Brooke said, giraffes sleep standing up and only need about 30 minutes to two hours sleep per day. Mac said, they are the tallest land animals in the world. They can grow up to 18 feet tall. That's right, Macaroni, Brooke told him. This is their feeding bucket. It has leaves, flowers, and fruit in it. Mac said, I want to see the elephants. We can take a shortcut through the polar bear viewing area. The display sign read, This polar bear weighs 1,500 pounds. Mac told Abby, They can swim up to 60 miles a day and have a keen sense of smell that can detect their prey from over a mile away. My, Abby told him, you really know a lot about these zoo animals. This zoo has both African and Indian elephants, Mac told Abby. What's the difference between them, asked Abby. These African elephants are larger with larger ears, said Mac. In the next habitat are the Indian elephants, Mac offered. They are smaller than African elephants and have smaller ears. Indian elephants are considered endangered. Abby, sometimes I need to go to a quiet place, Mac admitted. Of course, I could use some quiet time also, Abby told him. Where should we go? Mac said, I love the Butterfly Pavilion because it is the quietest place at the zoo. After about 30 minutes, Abby asked Mac if he was ready to see more displays. Yes, next I want to see the kangaroos, Mac said. The zoo had a walk-through habitat for visitors to the kangaroo enclosure. The sign read, This display has the red kangaroo which is the largest kangaroo species. Abby asked Mac, what do you know about kangaroos? Well, they reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour and jump up to three times their body length in one leap, Mac told her.
When Mac and Abby went past the zebras, Mac didn't want to stay very long. Abby asked him why, and he said, These zebras aren't endangered, and I want to see the birds. Mac saw the bird pavilion. The birds are one of my favorite places at the zoo, he told Abby. Oh, Abby replied, I'm surprised that you aren't wanting to go see the lions or tigers. I love the bird songs and sounds, Mac told her. And besides, the big cats sleep during this time of day. His favorite bird of all was the peacock. I think the peacock may be God's most beautiful creature, Mac said. Oh, I love them too, admitted Abby. When they reached the hippo pond, all the hippos were under water. I know where we can see them, Mac said as he ran ahead. Macaroni, called Abby. Mac stopped and looked back at Abby. He remembered their rule. I'm sorry, Abby, Mac apologized. I just forgot for a minute. Mac was right. There was an underwater viewing area and a huge hippo came right up to the glass to say hello to them. It was time for Abby to take Mac to join his class for a picnic on the zoo train platform. I hope they have pizza, Mac said. If they do, should I bring you a piece, Abby? Sure, that would be nice, Abby answered. Abby told Mac, I had fun exploring the zoo with you today, Macaroni. You were the perfect tour guide. The train will let your class off in the parking lot near your bus, so this is goodbye for now. Thank you, Abby. That was my best zoo day ever, Mac told her.